Hi guys and welcome to another fast and speedy competitive gameplay video containing, believe it or not, free matches. Because of these games being so fast, I decided to try a new style of editing that is a little bit more rapid, skipping draw cards and some of those steps. I would love to hear your feedback and your opinions about this style, if you even see a difference. With us today we have Simer playing Sinestra's Free Thief, that is basically an odd nose Chrome and Tumna deck that is also focused at winning the game with Underworld Breach and Brain Freeze and then of course Lion's Eye Diamond. Me, I'm playing something people would call a stacks deck. I would rather call it something for mid-range deck. Yes, it contains a bunch of creatures that are stacksy, but it's also a huge bunch of counter spells and interaction in this deck. I'm playing the Esper, Sakashima and Tumna for double Tumna cloning her that wins the game with Fasos Oracle and Consultation. Playam is with us and he's playtesting the new Malcolm Kinai Navigator with Tana completing the Timur pirate deck that is winning with Glinton Bakunir. Last but not least, with us we also have Mordorant playing his version of Paco Haldan that is trying to win with Sword of Heat and Famine and Aggravated Assault. Before we begin game 1, I would like to mention that we actually played 6 games during that live stream and after playing a bunch of games, me and Playem decided to swap decks. So in this game, I'm actually playing my original Cisse and Playem is playing his Golus. And this was a really epic game and it was also really fast. I hope you enjoy. Play a City of Brass, play a Soul Ring, I'll play a Chrome Mark, Axian Probe, and I'll cast Ristic Study like a boss. <laughs> Pass the turn. Oh man. Power. Pass. Draw a card. Dave into play like a boss. Chrome Mox like a boss. Pay for the Ristic Study like a boss. Oh. I'm gonna imprint my Elvish uh, of Deep Shadows. Noble Hierarch like a boss. I'm not gonna pay that because I'm a bad boss. Pass the turn. I'll shock. Myself a stomping ground? Uh, you play a carpet of flowers. Yes. Like a boss. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll play Freezy Study. Do my second main. Mm -hmm. I'll get a green. You know what? You can draw another one. Because I. And I, I'll play an Elvis Pass the turn. And so play Enlighten to uh, a real mana crypt. Like. You, you know, that play, um, that is definitely the boss mana crypt. Draft turn. Max Opal. Oh, you have Metalcraft. Like a boss. Ancient Tomb. Black. Two colorless. Cabal Ritual. Oh no. I got three black and a colorless floating. Colorless floating after I cast a nod nauseum. Three, zero, one, three, one, two, three, zero, two. Okay, so oh. there's Enlightened Tutor. Three, another three, another one, another two, three. You I'm not going to do any more of this. So I play a Lotus Petal. Okay, I'll cast uh, Dockside. Opal and colorless. I got three. Nah. And then I'm going to do a Dark Ritual. I'll cast Snap. Yep. Cast. Dockside again. Creator's grass for your Thassa's Oracle. So if I do Wish Claw, go and get my Demonic Consultation. And I have exactly enough mana left. Thassa's Oracle, Demonic Consultation. Oh, very nice. All right, that was a pretty cool warm up. I'm happy to see Simer winning here turn two. That's pretty epic and scary. Let's jump over to game number two. Watery Grave Tap. Oh, Growth Turn, Training Center, Mana Vault, Sea of Clouds. Grand Abolisher. Pass the turn. Stopping ground. A mana crypt. Play on our breath and be happy with it. I'm gonna play a mana confluence. I'll cast a talisman of dominance. And I will pass. Okay, growth turn. Malcolm. Pass. Take my turn, draw a card. Mr. Rainforest, and I'm gonna sacrifice it for an underground C. And I wanna cast Archon of Emeria for two damage. At you, Simer. I'll take it with my face. And then I pass the turn. And I draw. I'll just play um, Elvis Mystic. As well. I'll this. I'll play him now. And tap a key plus life from Walt. Both turn. Move to combat. Timer. Take two. Sack it for green. Cast Tinderwall. Pass. I'm gonna take my turn. I'm gonna cast Tumna the Weaver. Timer. And with the Grand Abolisher at you, Mordorant. I'm gonna pay two life and draw two cards. After that, I'm gonna put this. Island into play, and I'm gonna pass turn. And rope medic. Safe again! I wanna start by cracking my flutter strand. Triumph. I wanna play. I go. Start by going at you, Mons. But I don't play Odnos. Yes. This is the first time someone actually does a Paco attack at me. Personal tutor. Odnos strand. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, four, four hits. So he gets plus four, plus four. 
It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That means I'm going to take 7 damage. I'll take it. Take Romok. Quadrant. I'll attack you with Timna. Gain a life. Draw a card. And I will pass. And tap at G plus life from mana vault. Turn. Move to combat. Hit Simon for 2. For green. Wild growth targeting training center. Then I'll pass. I'm going to take my turn and draw a card. I'm going to shock him to play a godless shrine. But that's what the deck is doing. So let's cast Sakishima the Thousand Faces. He's going to enter as a copy of Tymna. And I want to go to combat. Uh, it's attacking at Simer. And Grand Abolisher is attacking at the Mordrant. I'm spreading out two damage at each opponent here. So I'm going to draw three cards and lose three life. And all of you lose a bunch of life as well. So I'm going to discard down to hand size. Discarding Yule Lotus and a passing turn. And roll for mana crit. And I'm safe again. And I think I'm gonna go forward this time. So you're attacking at Simer, right? Yes. Yeah. Simer. Yeah. Right on, man. Yeah. Vampiric Tutor for me. Wood for this. Grand Abolisher. Was right. that 10? Yes, it goes fast with Paco. I'll cast Haldum. Then I will pass the turn. In the turn, I'm gonna cast a Hull Breacher. For 5, I take 2 damage. Cast uh, Krom. Krom at me? Yes, for it. Okay, Krom is attacking me. I'm taking uh, four damage. That's the turn. We're dying I here. Think... Uh, I'll break the Hold Hold Breacher. It would be dangerous. Oh, one less blocker. Move to my turn. Yeah. And tap. FK plus life from an old growth turn. Combat. Simer, take two. Survival of the fittest. I pass on the survival of the fittest. Good. Don't win your months. I'll pass. Take my turn. There's a Grand Abolisher in play, you aren't allowed to do anything. And this time we're not going to forget to actually draw six cards. Archon, straight forward at Playem. And my two Timnas at Simer. Block the uh, three Sakashima Timna. Yeah, you, are you sure? Right, a... You know what? I won't block. I'm going to block. <laughs> so I'm going to pay four life and draw four cards and both of you lose two life. It's going to look so weird. We are going to cast... Submerge, and we are going to target Archon of Emeria. I want to play Ancient Tomb as well. Tap this for black, cast Diabolic Intent, sacrificing this, searching my deck. And I'm gonna demonstrate the Fastest Oracle and uh, Consultation and black, blue, and blue. Oh, All good. Thank you. Yay, I won. Let's not dull too long. Let's jump over to game number three. A draw a card for the turn. I'm gonna play a Tundra and I'm gonna cast Fish. Diamond pitching a island, a uh, plains, sorry, and pass the turn. Yep, I'm gonna crack my Vern Catacomb. I'm gonna get my Watery Grave untapped with Dark Ritual. Soul Ring. Trigger on the Dark Ritual as well and Soul Ring. Oh, you, you cast a Vampiric Tutor. I'm gonna draw a card with my Fish. And then I, I will pass it... the turn. Bro, I'm just gonna be humble and just play a mana confirm. Cast the turn. I'm not gonna feed the Fish right now. Warden Catacombs Fetch. Taiga. Play Mox Diamond. Uh, trigger on your Mox Diamond. Fishing Water Grove. Then tap for cast uh, Mako. I'm gonna pay for my fish. And then I'm gonna draw a card. Let's put a Bloodstain Mire into play. You know, it worked out pretty fine last time. So let's cast a Grand Abolisher. I'm gonna <laughs> sacrifice my Bloodstain Mire for a Scrubland. And then I'm down to seven cards in my hand, and I'm uh, passing the turn. Pay three, jam in Aristic Study. F, trigger on my fish. You may draw. I'm going to tap this for a green, and I play a wall draw. Uh, you can both draw. And, uh, I'm going to play, you can both draw one more card. A huge lot. Almost, almost a fast time. Pass. Look, give Noxious targeting word in cat comes. Uh, trigger fish. Yeah, you both can draw. Play land. That's five me for two. I'll take it. Make a treasure. Yes. I'm gonna take my turn. Uh, we are not paying for the fish. It goes to graveyard. I want to play this uh, water grave deck and pay to life. So we're gonna swing with the grand abolisher at you, Simer, for two. And then we pass the turn to you. This turn, I am going to pass. Yes, there's a lot of untapped mana here. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm very frightened to play the dog at the moment. You should. Play the dog. Uh, play this deck to play the dog, so yeah, why not? Let's see what happens. I play the dog. I have no response to the doggy. So I'm gonna go get blue red, cast blue blue, and I will mana drain. Backo, of course. I'll pay while I and exile Akko. 
four to wheelers. All right, yeah, that's good. You're a good guy. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. If I'm the only one playing Nas, then I'm the only one you should be attacking right now. I got a creature. Snap on mine. Yeah. I don't want to forget about the land I got. Yep. Yep. If you want to play land, mana continent, combat, hit, side for two. Well, I'll just pass. All right, in your end step, we are going to spend the mana and cast Hull Breacher. Very nice. I'm paying extra for the Rhystic Study. I will take my turn. We are casting our lovely commander, Timnad Weaver. I want to go to combat, swinging with the Grand Abolders straight down at Symer. The Hull Breacher at Playam. Yeah, I'm going to pay two life and draw two cards with Timna. I want to put the Morphic Pool into play. Yeah, from here, I am going to pass the turn. Play a Lotus Petal, Colorless. I have a Colorless floating Underworld Breach. I pass on the Underworld Breach. I will cast Brain Freeze, targeting myself. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pass on your Lion, on your Brain Freeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I need to crack this for a blue, tap this for two colorless. Okay, you've cast Brain Freeze. I'm gonna cast Chain of Vapor in response to your Brain Freeze. Pact of Negation. Oh no. In response to Pact of Negation, I'm gonna cast Misdirect, <sighs> pitching Nimble Obstructionist. So Misdirection resolves and one of your pa uh, Brain Freezes are countered. Uh, then Chain of Vapor returns your Underworld Breach. Do you, do you want to copy my Chain of Vapor? I think we're good. Okay, no copy on the Chain of Vapor. All right, that was my turn. I'll just play a Sylvan Library and um, I'll go to combat. Best part. Underworld Breach, so play an LSI. Yeah, he's going to do it next turn again, so. He's still a lot of damage, so trigger. And Overall. Bending center. Mana Confluence. And step, okay. this life. Uh, what is that you found, Playm? Snap. Give uh, proof turn. Snap targeting Hold Breacher. Sadly, though, I'm gonna pass on the snap. Pass, sadly. Hold Breacher goes back to my hand. Glinton Buccaneer, I believe. I'm uh, passing uh. on that thing as well. All right, I think your final devastation is good to resolve. Glinton Buccaneer. Poolon is after the discard, so the discard is part of the cost. Yes. So wait, you have the win, Playm, and Simon has the win here. What is this? No cards. Doing. <laughs> For it. Okay, I will take my turn. Uh, there's a Grand Abolisher in place. You aren't allowed to do anything. Underground C. Five more, and I have a Demonic Consultation, Demonic, Demonic Tutor for Consultation, and Fasus Oracle. And I have uh, all black and blue mana that I need, and have a Grand Abolisher in place. You can't do anything about it. I won again, and I think the MVP of both of these games were the Grand Abolisher. Also, I had a really early game Grand Abolisher to just set me up so that when I get to it, I'm protected. Normally, when you cast Grand Abolisher in like turn four, turn five, people are spending all of their resources to get rid of that thing. But when you cast it turn one, it actually gets through. And I did draw a lot of cards with this and with my Tumna. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Epic song or very terrible song, depending on your taste, is coming up. And I'll see you in the next video. Toss a coin to your Twitcher. Oh, please share the video. Oh, please share the video. Toss a coin to your Twitcher, a friend of community. Thank you, Patreons. The champion will prevail. Now pour him some mail. Toss a coin to your Twitcher. Oh, please share the video. Oh, please share the video. Toss a coin to your Twitcher, a friend of community.